Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. In figure AC is equal to BD. So this is AC and this is BD. And AD is equal to BC. That is this length is equal to this length. Which of the following statements is meaningfully written? Triangle ABC, that is this triangle. This triangle is triangle ABC. This triangle is congruent to triangle ABD, that is this triangle. So this is triangle ABD. So this is more meaningful or it is more meaningful to write that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD. So you see both of these mean the same triangle. Both of these mean the same triangle. It is just that we need to find out which point corresponds to triangle A. To point A. Because the only the order is changed. Triangle ABD also means this triangle. Triangle BAD also means the same triangle. But when we talk about congruence, we talk about the corresponding vertices. Right. So here when you look at uh, the diagram, what do you see? That if you compare the two triangles, so let's say in triangle ABC and triangle ABD, if you start comparing, what do you see? You see that AB is a common side. Right. So AB is one common side. So this is equal. AB is equal to AB. Then you see AC is equal to BD. Then you have AC is equal to BD. Right? So that actually means that if you actually rotate this triangle that is ABD and you try to place it over triangle ABC such that it overlaps with triangle ABC then what do you need to do? You will have to overlap it in such a way that this point A should come over point B. Right? You, you actually need to you know kind of reverse it. And then put it here. So point A should actually fall on point B and point D should actually fall on point C. Right? So that is what we are seeing from here. So AC is equal to BD and we also see that AD is equal to BC. So from this we see that since all the three sides are equal to their corresponding sides. So we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle now A will fall on which part? Now A corresponds to point B. That is what we understand. When you, I mean, you rotate this triangle, the reverse side and place it over triangle ABC, then point A falls on point B. And where does point D fall? Point D falls on point C. Right? So point D will fall on point C. And what happens to point B? Because in this triangle also you have a point B, right? So you, you are just reversing this triangle like this. So basically this point, this D is going here. This A is going here. Correct? So what is happening to this B? Because this side is also there. So this B is actually coming here. So B is actually the corresponding point of point A. So when we say triangle A, B, C... So how would we write? What is the corresponding point? Corresponding vertex for A. Corresponding vertex for A is B. Next is point B. So what is the corresponding point for B? For B it is A. And what is the corresponding vertex for C? For C it is D. So this would be triangle BAD. So this is more meaningful. Now I would not say that this is incorrect. This is not incorrect. If Even if we write that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD, that is not incorrect. But this one is more meaningful. Because by looking at this itself, you can say that point A corresponds to point B, point B corresponds to point A and point C corresponds to point D. Now I hope you understood how do we find the corresponding point. You just need to visualize the two triangles and you need to find out that if you want that triangle to over, I mean in this case if you want the triangle to overlap with triangle ABC then which point will fall over which point and that is how you find out the correspondence. Question number 6. 
it is triangle PQR congruent to triangle ABC. So these are the two triangles which are given. So let us see in triangles PQR and triangle ABC. What do we see? We see that the measure of angle P is equal to angle C. So angle P is equal to angle C which shows that if you know kind of we want to overlap the two triangles you actually need to rotate this triangle the other side such that point C coincides on point P. So basically point P and point C are corresponding points. We also see that length AC is equal to length RP because both of these are 2.5 centimeters. Not only that, we also see that CB, which is 3 centimeter, is equal to PQ, which again is 3 centimeter. So basically, what do we see? We see that two sides and the angle which is sandwiched between the two sides are equal to the corresponding two sides and the sandwiched angle. So therefore, we can say that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle triangle ABC or CBA because writing CBA would be more meaningful and why by which criteria this is congruent this is congruent by SAS criteria where two sides and the included angle of one triangle is equal to the corresponding sides and angle of the other triangle. Question number 7. Is triangle DEF congruent to triangle ABC? Again, let's have a look. So, in triangle DEF and triangle ABC, we find that AB is equal to EF. So, this is something which is given because the measure is 3.5 cm for each of them. Not only that, we see that angle A is equal to angle F and we also see that angle B is equal to angle E. So basically, we see that two angles and one side and that too, the side is included between the two angles. They are equal in the two triangles. Therefore, we can say that the two triangles are congruent by which congruency? By ASA criteria. And which would be the corresponding points? So you see angle E is equal to angle B. So basically point B will correspond to point E. Point A will correspond to point F. And point C would correspond to angle to point D. Therefore we can say that triangle DEF is congruent to triangle C, B, A. Again, this is more meaningful to be written like this. So once you have established the fact that the two triangles are congruent, try to find their corresponding points so that you can write down the congruence statement in more meaningful way. So here it again it was simple since angle E and angle B were equal that means if you try to overlap them so you will have to over overlap B and E over each other so that the lines overlap because the angles are the same. Similarly, angle A is equal to angle F that meant that angle point A and point F are the corresponding points. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.